All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to create a photo slideshow on your custom live wallpaper that has smooth transitions between each picture. As you can see here, I have four pictures. These are the custom logos, and I have them transitioning. They're fading in and fading out smoothly, and it uh, does this using a complex animation on loop. It's kind of similar to, to the way I did my GIF animation just last week. Let's go ahead and have a look. So inside of Custom Live Wallpaper, I'm going over to Globals and I'm adding four pictures. Uh, you can add more, you can add less, add them as global images, and you can quickly go back in later on and change these out if you want to add different pictures and it's not going to change any of your animation stuff. So I have four pictures and I just added all four of these icons that you saw coming across the screen. Ignore what you see here, you may say it's messed up, but there it is, okay? <laughs> the advanced editor sometimes does not show exactly what you're going to see. And also what I have is a number global called dur to stand for duration. How long do I want uh, these pictures to last? Uh, they're lasting for 12 seconds. Uh, but the way I have it set up, since I have four pictures, I'm going to use a complex animation. And if we take 100 and divide it by four, we get 25. So I'm going to base each little animation or each little photo at 25% intervals. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So the way I have these showing up is I have them, I've used a shape and I've changed the FX of my square to reflect a bitmap. So texture is gonna be bitmap for that shape. And then I've applied my number one global. That's that first picture that I wanna have there. And I think it's the custom live wallpaper logo. So the reason why I'm doing this is I want all of my pictures to take up the same space. And if you're adding different size pictures, this may be the better route for you versus you just adding an image. So um, to go ahead and clear that up, that's why I'm using shapes. All of these shapes are the same. So back into that first shape and over at its animation, I have it set to loop, complex animation. I have it set to straight. And then in the animator, well, let me go ahead and tell you this. Go ahead and set your duration to the GV dur. That way you can adjust the time real quick. And then also inside of this first picture, let's look and see how I have this set up. Now, since I have four pictures, 100 divided by four is 25. So for the first 25%, I want to see this first picture. Now, the way I have it set up, at the very beginning, I have it 100% transparent. Then 5% of the animation into it, I have it 0% transparent. This is what's going to make it fade in. And then up until 20%, I'm still going to have it completely non-transparent. And then at 25%, from 20 to 25%, I want it to fade back out. What's important to note here is this, zero and 25%. You can adjust these numbers in between here to whatever you want. Maybe you want the picture to fade in slower or something like that. Uh, however you want to do that, you can adjust these numbers in here. But since I have four pictures, I want it to start and end at zero to 25%. The next one's going to be 25 to 50, and then the third one's going to be 50 to 75, and then the fourth one's going to be 75 to 100. If you were using 10 pictures, you, you would need to do 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, etc. And then you'd probably want to adjust your GV dur to make it last longer. Because my GV dur right now is tw uh, 120, which is 12 seconds. So that each picture is going to animate for around 3 seconds each. 3, 6, 9, 12. You see what I'm saying? If you had 20 pictures, you'd want to do 5% intervals and it'd make your GV dur even longer. Just keep in mind, GV dur, this GV dur right here is going to be the duration of the entire sequence of photos, not just one photo. Because the way we're going to set up these complex animations, everything's going to work on these percentages. And this GV dur is going to be how long all of the photos, the entire slideshow, how long does it last? I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and go into the second shape we have here over at FX. Go ahead and do your texture to bitmap. And as you can see, I have the global image number two. Under animation, same type of animation, but let's go have a look at the entries for this one. It's a good idea to copy and paste these uh, things as you make them. That way, you know, the GV dur stays linked in. And we're gonna change our animations. Every single one of these at 0% is gonna be completely transparent. Then at 25%, I still want this second picture, second picture, I still want it completely transparent. So I have transparency set to 100. Then I'm going 5% increase. This is where it's going to fade in because it's zero uh, transparency. That means it's completely non-transparent. And then it's gonna stay that way all the way up to 45% 
where from 45% to 50%, I have it going from completely non-transparent to completely transparent. And as you can see here again, we're going 25 to 50. But again, all of these are gonna have that zero at 0%, zero 100% transparent, as you, you're gonna see this right here in a second. Let's go ahead and look at the third one and the fourth one, and you're gonna see how we're gonna have a 50 and a 75, and then we're gonna have a 75 and 100. Now again, you can change these numbers inside of here to make it fade in faster or slower. So here's the third one. Again, FX, texture bitmap, global image number three, animation, same type of animation. Let's go look at the entries for this one. So notice that it's 50 to 75, and I had these little 5% intervals in here. Again, you can change these, but since I have four photos, I wanna go in 25% intervals. So again, remember what I said earlier in the video, if you have 10 pictures, you'd wanna go 10, zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, et cetera. And just make sure you set up these transparencies correctly. And then finally, the fourth one, under its FX, same thing again, texture is bitmap, global image number four, animation, complex animation, and the entries here, notice I'm starting 0%, uh, like I mentioned earlier, 100% uh, transparent at the beginning, and this uh, transition, this fade is not gonna happen until 75% of the way through our animation, so 75 to 100. And again, I had these 5% intervals in here to make it fade in, stay in, and then fade out. So now that we have this set up, I want you to bear in mind, I recommend picking a number of pictures that you can take 100 and divide by that number, like 10 images, uh, four images, five images, 20 images, stuff like that. If you were to pick a number that you can not take 100 and divide by that number and get a nice, pretty answer, you can still do it by all means, but you're not gonna have the same time interval or the same percentage difference for each piece like we have right here. So with that said, let's back out and let's talk about that GV Dur real quick and then it'll be a wrap. So over at Globals, if I change my GV Dur, since I had this all linked up, I'm gonna bump it down to like 40, which is four seconds. And what you're gonna see here is that the slideshow is gonna last four seconds. Uh, we got four images, so one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, it's repeating. So that's what that GV Dur does, it, it speeds it up or we can definitely slow it down. If I want it to last, say, 20 seconds, this is gonna make each picture, that's gonna be the length of the entire slideshow, but what you're gonna see now, if I save this, go back to the home screen, it's gonna last for 20 seconds. So, you know, starting right now, uh, if we were to count this, it's gonna be 20 seconds long. Each picture is gonna last for five seconds. I hope that makes sense there. And there you have it. That's how you can create a slideshow on your custom live wallpaper that has smooth transitions. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.